everybody, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Today I have some thrift hauls, but I also have a couple things I just want to go over from some um, comments that I want to kind of fill in a little bit. Well, one comment that I got on my makeup one because of the psoriasis I have from Gina. You know what? It is helping. I have been taking off and on, which I am now all the time, vitamin D3, well it's K2 and D3. And I take it twice a day actually, it only says once a day, but I take it twice a day. So I was vitamin D deficient. And also we know with psoriasis is more of a gut thing too. So I started to take, it's called L-glucosamine. L-glutamine. Oh, glutamine. It's for your gut. And I take this like it's five grams twice a day. And here's five grams actually, just so you can see it's not much. It's one of these little scoops. It's a teeny, teeny little scoop. I put that in a little bit of apple juice and water. So I kind of dilute the apple juice. And you can't even taste it, but that's supposed to be good for your gut health. So also I'm doing this trying to get rid of psoriasis because a lot of times what they call leaky gut syndrome causes psoriasis and skin problems and everything so I also got a book I'm reading on it also but anyway I just want to cover that so thank you Gina about the vitamin D because I was at one time vitamin deficiency of D I was efficient but my last blood test didn't say that but I think I'm gonna say so I'm gonna take it anyway okay now I want to show you which I know you ladies like some empties right I usually don't do empties videos, but I really like these perfumes. So this is all gone. My Michael Kors was it Sexy Amber. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. I originally bought this for my daughter, Jen, but uh, she goes, ah, oh, it doesn't smell right on me. You want it? I said sure oh my gosh I used the whole thing up like it I would repurchase it you know I might or I might try a couple other brands of Michael Kors and my favorite is the Miss Dior and this one is the absolutely blooming I like another one too I can't remember what that one's called but yeah do I have anything left in here? Yeah, I got a dot left in there. I got another bottle of this, so. This lasts a long time. So, that's my two favorite perfumes. I got other perfumes. I got Viva La Juicy and other ones, right? But these are my two, um, I would say, more expensive ones that I really, really like. And, which I will put in a picture over here in this door. I put this purse hanger actually let me see if I can move the camera to there can you see there we go I'm gonna start putting some of my um I have too many pocketbooks start putting my uh, thrift hauls and um, yard sale hauls on here um, I think most of them though is gonna go to family members I may check and see if any of you guys may want some, some of the ones I want to get rid of, um, possibly. So, but I just love buying purses. And since I'm trying to not buy new purses, I told my husband I was going to be good. And I've been good for like two years now. So I'm trying to get the yard sale haul purses or the thrift store, which reminds me, thrift store. Break. It's my turvis I got when my mom was still alive, or did she just pass away? Oh, it's so nice. I love all the saying, strong, kind, supportive, support, inspiration, hardworking. That's a mom. So let's get into the thrift store. Oh, well, I'm still in this purse. I just like it because it's so carefree. I never thought I could actually last a week or two weeks or even a month in the same purse, but I did it. I did it when I first come down here. I last like six, seven months in the same purse. 
So, okay. Let me go by this one. This one is something I've never seen any other ladies have. Actually, I haven't checked YouTube, probably some people, but I do buy the shoes. And it looks so cute, but I thought I'd get it. It's Clark's. And it looks to be leather. And it's like in perfect condition. I'll do a close up for these on these for you ladies. It's like kind of a nice soft, like a felt type inside lining. Zippers are great. A little side zipper, you can only do that far. There's stuff like maybe a couple bucks in there or something, or your ID, whatever you want to do. And then has a zipper on the top. And I like this little pleat. The zip on the top. Now here's where we get into the problem with this purse. And I'm going to figure out if I want to even work on it or if I'm just going to leave it as is because it was only um, $3.50 at the thrift store. Someone in this nice beautiful purse decided to put carry their fingernail polish in it. It's a fingernail polish. I try like to remove it a little bit with this little soap and water or something when I first got it, thinking it was something else, but it's fingernail polish. This side is fine. It has the two pockets, and this is a zip. I mean, outside of that, it just says uh, Clark's. So, I mean, it's, it's really a nice purse. Like I said, it's the strap, I love the strap. You can make a crossbody, you can make a shoulder. It's just a ribbon strap instead of the uh, leather. So look, look, I'm just holding this and how great these zippers are. So anyway, I couldn't pass it up. It's not my usual, like a Dooney or a Michael Kors or a Coach or a Kate Spade. But I do have Clark's shoes. Actually, I think she's in fabulous condition, as long as you don't look at the inside. Hey, what do you expect for three dollars and fifty cents?
I think she's great. Yeah, I wish I could get this stuff up inside up. I think it's figured out how I should move her. I don't know if I'm going to go through the work of it because nobody's going to see it unless they say, let me see the lining of your purse. Oh my God. <laughs> but outside of that, perfect. Now the next, which one do I want to show you? Okay, let's do the fossil ones. Leather strap. Definitely crossbody. Or you could bring it on up to a shoulder bag. She's a mighty old. At least she looks old. I got her for a dollar fifty. back where it has a zip which I got this from my friend Joan she sent it to me so I'm going to use it as if this fits in the pocket my cell phone fits in the pocket and that fits in there so a 6s plus will fit so there's a pocket there and then up here a zip on top where it has two pockets in the back one pocket in front and the fossil patch. And she's clean inside. I don't know if you can see her, but she's really clean. Nothing inside this one. <clears throat> now the unique thing what I liked about this, it's like, eh, well this didn't like quite grab me at first year. It's like coated like a coated cotton or canvas outside. Then I started looking at her. With the this is leather. You see that double zipper on the side? That's leather. That's like a pebble leather. Very nice. I haven't conditioned or did anything to these bags. So maybe dust them off, wipe them off. That's it. So it makes this bigger. Instead of being like flat like that, about an inch or whatever, it makes it like a three inch bag. It's pretty awesome, I think. I think that's pretty cool. You see the fossil thing right there? I don't know if you've seen it or not, because I couldn't see. And the zipper works really well. I always just make sure I tuck this in. You don't want it, the leather to get caught, right? Tuck that in. And then you got like a little flat crossbody bag. Okay, my last bag <clears throat> is a Kate Spade. Now this I paid $3.75 for. So in the right direction, yeah. $3.75. Kate Spade bag. This is unusual. I'm, I haven't looked it up yet. Um, but I think this is, of course, this is the patent leather. I would think it was real patent leather. It's Kate Spade. Right, and uh, it's got a little chain here, a little chain there, and it's got patent leather here. Well, of course, that's not going to pass the elbow, but you can wear it like this. I have plenty of room between me and the bag, so it'd be nice for a dress bag. But you know what I liked about this was unusual was this like padding here. It doesn't feel like material, but yeah, it probably is. It has little metal running through it, like a, a gold flakes or 
gold uh, weaving or something to it. And patent leather on the bottom. So this is in really good condition. I think I see one mark on the uh, patent leather, which I can't see right now. Would you just turn the lock? And the inside is beautiful. Of course, the polka dots would probably play up my vision. But there's nothing wrong with the inside of this bag. Nothing wrong. What's that? Well, it just says Kate Spade. Kate Spade, what does it say? New York. But look at that. Two pockets. And then it got a zip. Which, of course, is really nice. Polka dots might get to you, though, but I think, I mean, for the price, this is the Kate Spade. And like I said, the patent leather looks really good. I think I see one mark somewhere in the patent leather, but I can't seem to find it right now. Cool bag. I mean, I find the coolest things down here in North Carolina. Here she goes. So like with the rest of the bags, I'll give you a close-up of this one also. So I think that's it. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, my makeup video? Okay, you guys might have thought it was okay. Afterwards, I've already looked at it. I put too much eyeliner on. You know, it just it just didn't it didn't look right. I mean, I think because I was trying to do it in that little mirror and then the big mirror with the camera there, I wasn't really seeing it that well. But yeah, my lipstick wasn't on quite right. It's like especially over here and my eyeliner was like a little goopy like it was a little thick which I normally don't do because here you go yeah so yeah uh, it was first time me doing the makeup on camera um, the next one though hopefully it'll be a lot better because who knows I might get some new shadows and play with something if you ladies like to do me like to see me do some more makeup videos later down the road if i get some new makeup i'll try that and maybe after a while i'll get okay at it okay i think that's it just like i said thanks gina for the vitamin tip and now i'm taking this also trying to get gut healthy and my new purse hanger which is over there i'll pop, try to put a picture in which is actually this I bought this a long time ago. Just never used it. And thank you, Joan, again for the um, phone case. I love the sparkles. Look at 
They're so nice. Okay, I think that's it for me for right now. Um, I'm not sure what my next video is going to be. If ha, Make some suggestions. Please make some suggestions. I um, mean, Deb, Deb Storybags, asked for something about, um, you know, how I organize my stuff in the closets in the um, kitchen downstairs. Like, you know, how I organize some things. And I didn't put the pantry in the video, but I do have a pantry downstairs, too, which is not very organized right now. I tend to put, oh, this is good. This is good. You'll fit there. So, okay, y'all, I'll talk to you later. Like I said, if you have any suggestions of, for my next video, leave a comment below. Love you guys. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.